Hi, everybody. Hi, it's Elizabeth Espinosa. Find us on Twitter, or I should say me, <laughs> uh, Twitter, Facebook, and of course, ElizabethEspinosa.com. You know, I'm a reporter here in Los Angeles at KTLA, in case you're tuning in from Dubai. You never know, right? Excuse me. I'm talking. Yeah, that, that, there you go. I'm, in, I'm a newscaster. So, of course, we're in the field, and I got the radio in the back, but we're just going to make do. And everybody say hi to my sweet Brian, star photographer. I'm serious. Uh, we're in crazy traffic, so it was a great time for me to sit down and talk. Wait, because I can't really go anywhere, huh? Joke's on me. But I'm really excited because I have time to talk to you guys. So, my sweet Twitter friends, thank you. Michael Stein from San Bernardino. We're just coming back from your neighborhood. You said you saw us on the street and you tweeted me. Your question today is, Elizabeth, I'm also trying to become a journalist. Any advice? Okay, here's the deal. Have purpose, find your passion, and whatever you do, what's my saying? Don't give up, get up, okay? So here's the deal. Years ago when I started this business, there's no way there was this talking into the laptop. That's right. And now the business of journalism is changing the industry. You've got multimedia journalists. Uh, you go from back in the day where there was a four-man crew. God, that's really loud, huh? Four-man crew. I hope you're okay with this. Uh, Two-man crews, meaning like there's a camera person, there's an engineer, there's an audio, there's lighting. Now you have um, big news markets like Los Angeles and New York where you have just one person doing everything. The camera work, the editing. Uh, the driving, you know, just everything. And then having to do your own makeup. Just kidding. But, but, but seriously. So I would say to you, the most important thing is if you want to break into the business, be as well-rounded as possible. And I'm not talking about snacking because I do love to eat. But I'm really talking about being as well-rounded with, you know, knowing the internet. Knowing how to communicate effectively. Be a good writer. Be accurate. Learn storytelling. And also, most importantly, is when you do a story, when you're a journalist, what's the point of doing the story about the study? How does that affect your life? How does that affect the lady that lives in the valley as opposed to the resident over at the beach? You know, you got to find that human connection and why people want to hear that story. Why is that study important? Or why did, you know, when you even, do, we do a lot of shooting deaths, sadly, in these big cities like Los Angeles. We're just driving back from a homicide now. And I always say, People get jaded. You know, you hear it over and over again, like, oh, another shooting death. But that's somebody's family member. That's somebody's everything. And so you are the person that has that amazing responsibility to transform that story and make the person at home connect. So you're the connector. And that's a really big responsibility. And I think it's a beautiful one. So just make sure you cherish it and you do the best that you can. You, you know, work with passion, be committed. And I will say it is a beautiful industry. It is changing quickly, rapidly. Don't know what it's going to look like in five years even. But I think that uh, the most important thing for you is to be as prepared for what is to come with technology and everything else. So I hope that answered your questions. Any more, Michael Stein and my other Twitter friends and Facebook, you know where to come. Tweet me and I will answer your questions here on this YouTube channel every week. I'll see you soon. Mwah. Remember, never give up. What is it? No, don't give up. Get up. I like how I like my I know my own say. <laughs> Brian knows me. He's like, oh, there's Espinosa again. Oh, the traffic. Oh, now there's no traffic there. Whatever. I'm done trying to play photographer girl. See? Good luck. I'll talk to you later. Bye.